Okay, welcome back my Quackshonauts, and today is going to be something a little different. We usually post Ganyu content on the channel, but today we're going to be looking at Ming Guang. The Geo buffs did go live in terms of Zhongli, and the Geo Resonance has been changed as well. Okay, so the Geo Resonance has been changed. Uh, it was something along the lines of, I think, some like, damage increase and an increased interruption to resistance, but now it's... Increase shield strength at 50%. Also, your characters that are protected by a shield have the following special characteristics, which includes damage dealt increased by 50%, and you also shred the enemy's geo resistance by 20% for 15 seconds, which is absolutely huge, and I really love these changes. I'm glad they did attend to the geo resonance. Okay, so the comp we're going to be using is Ningguang, Albedo, Bennett, and Xinyan. So again, we're going to be using 2G. And we're also going to be using double prior for the 25% attack modifier as well. So we're going to be damage testing Ningguang. I'll show all the builds of each character if you guys want to see that at the end of the video. I do stream from 4 or between 4 and 7 p.m. EST. So if you want to catch me streaming on YouTube, definitely uh, check me out. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're on floor 12 of the Abyss. You do have to keep in mind that there is a 75% increased Geo damage on this floor. So do keep that in mind as well. I will damage test out of the, the Abyss as well. But obviously this is the hardest content in the game. And I'm sure you guys want to see how much uh, damage output uh, Ningguang can do. So again, we're going to be using Ningguang, Albedo, Bennett, and Xinyan. The second doesn't really matter, right? Okay, so floor 12, chamber 1. Let's go with this one here. It doesn't really matter too much. So we're going to drop that down. We're going to bend it alt, and then we're going to swap to Ningguang. Did not mean to burst there, by the way. So as you can see, we're doing about 12k there on the charged with Star Jades on hand in the bend alt. Which is actually not too bad, actually. So let's drop the bent up down again. J screen damage, 52k. 52k damage. Again, this floor does have a 75% boost to Geo. And I am shielded, by the way, right? So 52k damage. That is really, really freaking good. I think prior to the Geo buffs, I was probably doing give or take. I think like 35k on J screen. Like, I may be wrong here, but I think I was doing roughly 55k. So let's drop the bent alt again. We're shielded, of course, right? Jade screen, 19k, no crit. We're gonna drop the alt here. That was about 26, 22k-ish on the alt. That's actually really, really good. Okay, so as you guys can see, again, we were on 4 of the Abyss. I know there is uh, a Geo damage bonus modifier on that floor. But again, it is the hardest content, quote-unquote, that we currently have in the game. I think we're doing about like 23, 28k on the charge hits and on the alt, we, or no, on the jade screen, we did 52k damage in the bandit alt while being shielded, right? To take full use of the Geo Resonance. So we're doing a lot more damage. Again, I think my Ningguang was probably dropping somewhere between, give or take, like let's say 35, 40k-ish, like prior to the buffs. So these buffs are completely massive. Okay, so let's go with the 20% attack modifier. I think we had 30% on floor 12, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we're going to try to keep the values the same here if possible. So we're going to E here, grab the shield. We're going to Bennett alt. We had 37k on the Jade screen. So with the Geo damage modifiers, we hit, I believe, 52k on the Jade screen, right? In the Bennett alt. So let's get an alt here again, real quick. Use Shin Yen as a battery. We have our alt again, Ben and alt. Let's refresh the shield and let's J screen again. I think that was 14, 14k no crit, I think. Let's alt here and see how much damage we do. We did like 18k hits there. 27k, 22.9k, 28k no Ben and alt on the Jade screen. So as you guys can see, we're doing a ton of damage. Like, I feel like the Geo buffs were well, well deserved, right? We're doing a lot more damage. So we're gonna see if we can get a Ben alt very, very quickly here. Let's E on Shen Yen. Okay, drop the Ben alt again. Jade screen, 9k, no crits. About 10k there. We're gonna alt. 
So we're doing 16.9k there in the Bennett alt. I think we're hitting about 37k on the Jade screen in the Bennett alt. And I believe after alt we did about 16.9k hits, right? So overall I think it's really good. Like the Jade Resonance is really, really under like rated I feel like. It's a lot better as it used to be prior to 1.3, right? So we're going to see if we can get it on Child. I don't think you can on weekly smoke bosses. But we're about to find out. Okay, you can on Child. That's that's weird. So as you guys can see, we're doing 10.7k there. That's without Bennett Alt. So let's see if we can get Bennett Alt here. I don't know why I eat so early. Thank God we have Shin Yen. Okay, so let's drop Bennett Alt. Jade screen, 25.9k? 28.8 or 28.3 actually there that was actually very very quick I'm actually really loving these zero buffs it's really really good okay let's see if we can build Ben alt real quick here again so we're just gonna slowly chip away at him okay let's replace this All right, we Bennett Alt, Ningguang, we drop Jade Screen, 12.9, I think, there? So that was about 15.8. 15.8k. And that's without food buffs. That's just a Bennett buff, right? Like, this new Jiro Res is really, really good. Like, I feel like it's on par with Power Resonance as is now, right? Like, prior to the Jiro buffs, Power Resonance, I feel like, was at the top of the... Uh, the food chain in terms of resonance, but I feel like Jiro Resonance is like a really, really good competitor, right? Okay, so let's go through the artifacts very, very quickly and the weapons and so forth on Ning Guang. Right now we have 2.1k attack roughly on Ning. We're sitting at 54.4% crit rate and we have 168.1% crit damage. We also obviously have 23, or not 23, we have 93.6% Jiro damage bonus. And this is because of Lost Prayers, right? So we have Lost Prayers level 90 at R1. Okay, so talents in terms of Ning Guang, in terms of priority, I would go for the autos as main priority because most of your damage is obviously coming from the autos. And then I would say maybe Jade Screen or Star Shadow. Like either one is perfectly fine. I would probably prioritize the Jade Screen if you have over, like if you have C2, then prioritize the Jade Screen. But definitely autos is number one, right? And if you do want a crowner, obviously that all depends on you, but I would say probably autos, jade screen, and then star shatter. But either or is perfectly fine, but definitely autos is number one priority. So right off the bat, if you have C0, obviously you're going to have her at base level. I do feel like Ning Guang is really, really good, but at C0, she might be a little, what's the right word here, like underpowering-ish. You can still put in the work, but I feel like the C1 and C2 is very, very important. So... On the C1, Piercing Fragments, basically what Ning Guang uh, gets on her C1 is AoE damage. The C1 is, is really, really important for the extra damage output on Ning Guang, especially if you're trying to run DPS Ning Guang, right? So C1 is very, very important. But I feel like the C2 is where she really starts to shine, right? So basically C2, when the Jade screen is shattered, its CD will reset. And this can occur every 6 seconds. So what this means is that... Every time you replace your Jade Screen, so let's say, for example, you place it down and then the cooldown like runs out and you replace the Jade Screen again, you will get the Jade Screen CD refreshed on the C2. So C3 is basically this talent level lumps on her ult, so plus three on Star Shatter. C4, basically on the Jade Screen, increases nearby character's element resistance. I feel like this is not really that important in comparison to her C1 and C2. C5, again, is another uh, talent up, so you get plus 3 on the Jade screen. Every time you ult, you get 7 Star Jades, you get more DPS potential. But I feel like the C1, the C1 is very, very good, like, obviously, but I think the C2 is where she really starts to shine. Artifacts, will go through them slowly. If you guys want to pause the video here, definitely feel free to do so. We have a Glad Flower, Petra Plume, there's the Sands, Petra as well. There's the Goblet, which is the filler piece, Jiro Damage Bonus, and then we have the Glad Circlet. So we are running two-piece Glad and two-piece Petra. I feel this is the most ideal uh, set to actually run on your Ningguang, especially for DPS Ningguang, right? 
So two piece glam, two piece petra is probably the best way to go. I feel like if you are running deepest in Guang, you probably should run Jiras alongside probably double pyro. You can probably fit some other characters in that team comp, but I feel like in terms of like overall usefulness, double geo and double pyro is the way to go. There's many options you could use. You can use Ning Guang with Zhang Li if you have Zhang Li. You can use Ning Guang with Albedo, maybe Ning Guang Noel, maybe just for the Jiro Res. In terms of Pyro Res, you can probably throw in Bennett if you have Bennett. You can throw in uh, maybe Shang Ling, Xin Yan, like anybody just to fill that gap for the Pyro Res, right? I feel like Jiro Res and Pyro Res is probably the best way to go if you are running uh, DPS Ning Guang. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments down below your uh, thoughts on the video what uh, sets you're running on your ningguang your pieces etc etc and yeah anyways this is the end of the video hopefully you guys all enjoyed and i'll catch you guys all in the next one Told my brothers one day we gonna make it we just gotta grind for that paycheck mama told me one day i'll be famous remember when she used to say she hate this that ended with life when i say shit